okay guys so now that it's been almost two months in quarantine i've been desperately needing a glow up so in this video i'm gonna be going from this to this so i'll see you at the end of the video So for today's video, I know I look like a mess. I am so sorry. I decided not to get ready for this video so that you guys could see how much of a mess I've been looking like. So right now it is nine in the morning. I woke up this morning. I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, we are gonna fix this. Today is a day that I'm gonna fix this mess. So yeah, today I'm pretty much gonna be attempting to go from a zero to like a solid six. I'm just like, I feel like my self-confidence right now is like so low. Like what you guys are seeing right now is exactly what i've been looking like for like the past three weeks <gasps> i've been feeling like such a mess that it's not even funny like i forgot what it's like to feel cute and feel good about myself just know i've reached my limit so because of that here i am making this video for you guys in this video i'm gonna be fixing my disgusting hair i'm gonna be doing a face mask widening my teeth doing my eyebrows doing my nails it's literally anything that it takes and before I start, in case you guys didn't know, I have another video up called How to Glow the F Up in Quarantine. That one is pretty much based on how to glow up mentally, physically, and spiritually. This one is like a look transformation video, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be straightening my hair first because I left my hair in a bun overnight, meaning when I take my hair out, it's not gonna be cute. It's gonna be like a whole disaster. Okay, also, I'm sorry for like the huge mess in my room. I'm actually right now in the process of like redoing it. So it's like all over the place. Don't pay attention to it, please. My hair, when I take it out of like braids or like anything, it's just scary. Like why does my hair do this? It's so bad. Okay, I'm gonna straighten this and I'll be right back. I'm halfway through and look at the difference. Like this is why I hate my hair. Like look at the difference between my crazy hair and then compared to like being straight. Oh no. So I just finished straightening my hair. You guys don't even know how nice my hair feels right now. Like my hair has just been looking so busted lately that it's been such a long time since I've like just let it down and let it breathe. Okay, so here's an official before clip so that you can compare it to after. This is pretty much what I've been looking like for the past five days. I don't remember when was the last time I changed out of this outfit. I'm just saying. Okay, so I just finished straightening my hair, which was like the main thing I wanted to get out of the way because my hair is like the one thing that makes me like before we get into anything else, I want to show you guys what we're going to be working with. I am not in my peak right now. Like, my eyebrows are super grown out. And I know you can't tell on camera, like, at all. Here's a close-up. Like, they're starting to get worse and worse every day. And I need to, like, tame them before they get worse. So, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, like, first things first. <laughs> And also my nails. I've been letting my nails grow out and I haven't like done anything about it. So I'm either gonna put acrylics on my nails or like literally just paint them, I don't know. Okay, so I was looking online on how to widen my teeth at home and I read this article that was saying that you can put baking soda and hydrogen peroxide on your toothbrush with the toothpaste and it was saying it was like really effective. I pretty much went to my kitchen, mixed that all together and put it onto my toothbrush and so now I'm just gonna see what happens. I also made sure to brush for two minutes like the article said, so I set a timer to keep track of that. Okay, so it's been two minutes and I pretty much brushed my teeth for two minutes like the article said and it worked! I'm assuming obviously that this is something that you have to do like on a daily basis. I don't know if it's healthy for your teeth if you do it like every day. So I'm assuming I can try doing it like two, three times a week. I can definitely see this having like really good results if I like keep up with it. And here I attempted to show you guys a before and after even though I feel like this is not very accurate because the lighting is really different, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows with this lotion so that they become like smoother or like easier to remove. And also this little razor thing that I just kind of have in my room. I know normal people would usually like pluck their eyebrows or like wax them or something, but I cannot handle the pain. Like if I were to do it to myself, I would not stop crying and screaming. So it's pointless to even try. So I just always do it with this, even though it doesn't have like the same effect. Okay, so I'm moving because I need better lighting and I don't trust myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna be putting a lotion all over this to make this like slightly easier, I hope. 
So first, I'm gonna just like brush them out and then trim them with these little scissors to shape them or whatever. I'm honestly only doing this because I always see the threading lady do this, so I'm assuming I should probably do that too. But I don't even know how though. I'm scared. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Is that good enough? I don't trust myself. Like, why am I doing this right now? Also, I need to put you guys on. So there's like this little like electric razor thingy that they sell at Target. And no, this isn't sponsored. I've been using this for like over a year now. And it's just like a super easy, fast and way to remove like your facial hair. And I'm probably just gonna use it for my eyebrows, like the underneath for like the extra hair, so. Okay, it's like bothering me that when I was trimming it, it just seems like I cut a little bit too much right here. I don't know if I'm crazy. Okay, I'm starting to get nervous doing this on camera. Okay, I'll show you guys the before and after when I'm done. Okay, I'm so bad at showing you guys the before and after, but after an hour of literally just sitting there and doing my eyebrows, I do think they look a lot cleaner now. Okay, so I am now on my bed. I'm gonna be doing my nails now. So like I said, this is what my nails currently look like. This is what we're gonna be working with. God, they're so long. Like, what even is wrong with me? Like, who even lets them get this long? Luckily, in a middle school, I had like a phase where like I was obsessed with like acrylics and like doing my own at home because I hated paying $40 at the salon. So, I already have like a whole bunch of acrylic stuff here at home. And so I'm gonna be using all of this to pretty much do my own nails today. I haven't done my own nails in like over a year because I've been too lazy. So just know that I don't know what I'm doing. So do not trust anything I'm saying. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just gonna go by what I think I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting my nails first because I do not want to like shape these. It is way too much work. I'd rather just like stick on some fake acrylic nails. Okay, so I have now cut them off. So I'm gonna be cutting the dead cuticle skin and then also using like this vitamin thingy for like the cuticle. So we're gonna be doing that. Okay, so my nails are now nice and clean and trimmed and I'm kind of proud of myself. Okay, so I am now gonna have to look through these and find the shape for like each of my nails, which is gonna be annoying. I hate doing that. So now that I have prepped my nails and I got all of that out of the way, I am now gonna be moving on to the actual acrylic. Okay, so this is what my first nail is looking like. So yeah, this is definitely not my best work. It's looking super crusty, but I can fix it. Like this has potential. Honestly, I just did a bad job like trimming it. I feel like if I just file it down better, like it'll actually look nice. Okay, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. I'll get back to you guys when I finish the whole hand because this took me like 10 minutes, which is way too long just for one nail. Okay, so I just spent 40 minutes on just my first hand and yeah, that took me a lot longer than I expected But here it is. Okay, I'm kind of proud of myself. Not gonna lie I expected way worse than this like my expectations were like down here I was expecting to be super disappointed in myself I thought I was gonna end up ripping them off and like literally just crying, but you know, they're kind of cute I saw to do the second hand though. It is probably gonna take me forever though So I'll have to get back to you guys once I'm done with the second hand Okay, so I'm officially done with my second hand. It took me kind of way too long, but it's okay. Here are the results. They turned out like a lot better than I expected, but it did take me way too long. So now we're gonna move on to the next thing. I'm gonna do a face mask right now. I've been wanting to do this. I feel like this is very essential when it comes to glowing up. I probably do face masks way too often, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this face mask and it is my favorite. And you guys probably know how obsessed I am with it if you watch my videos. So I'm gonna be putting this on. My skin definitely needs this right now, so. Okay, so I'm gonna play some Daniel Caesar right now while I'm putting this on and I'm gonna mute this because I don't wanna get copyrighted. You guys can just watch me put this on. Wait, I should probably put my hair back first. I just finished my face mask. Oh my god, this feels so 
I always question why I feel like I look better in a face mask have a little talk while I'm sitting here waiting to take this face mask off. So, you know, my life lately, I've been like really stressed. This week is like finals week and honestly, like online classes are not the move. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me, but like online classes are like 10 times harder than like just regular in-person classes. Why? Because the workload is like 10 times heavier. Like they'd be giving me like 10 assignments when in the regular in-person classes, like, I almost had little to no homework. But like now they'd be giving me assignments like every 10 minutes. So, you know, I've been trying to keep up with my classes and I've been really stressed. And this face mask is making me feel really good. I'm like trying to laugh, but I can't move my face because it's like stuck. <laughs> so good i don't want to take it off okay it's been like 15 minutes now i'm just gonna take it off i'm gonna wash my face and clean my mess up that i made and i'll get back to you guys when i'm done okay so my skin i feel looks a lot better now i feel like i look slightly better like slightly after doing that face mask my skin feels so soft like i feel so good and now to conclude the video i just want to make an effort to like actually do my makeup and put on a cute outfit because i don't remember when was the last time i did that so we're gonna do that Okay, so I am now done with my makeup. I didn't go crazy with it or anything. I literally just kept it simple, but I still feel really bad because I feel like I made such an effort to like cleanse myself and then I just put makeup on my face after. So yeah, anyways, I'm done. Now I'm gonna pick out an outfit and like change. So I pretty much just picked out like a simple outfit literally just to wear in my house because I am not gonna go out anywhere. I literally just put on my favorite brandy pants with this belt and then a black shirt that I thrifted. Then I pretty much got sad because I realized I have so many cute outfits that I want to wear out and take pictures with but you know, that's not very possible so Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it I honestly had a lot of fun making this video and I really do think that I needed to do this for my self-confidence Like it's been so long since I've done my makeup, you know, not that I need makeup to like feel better But it does make me feel better. So I honestly thought this was gonna take me way longer than it did Like I started this video like at 9 a.m. And it is now like 7 p.m. So I mean still I mean it still took me like almost the whole day This all cost me zero dollars too, so it just like goes to show that you don't need to be spending like thousands of dollars to be like glowing up Because everyone be saying like you got to spend a thousand dollars to glow up like no you don't honey just do it at home Overall it was fun. I would 10 out of 10 do this again. That is it. I am gonna stop talking now Make sure to follow my social media if you do not follow it already mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That is it. That is another video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye